The action button on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is super cool, but if you have an older iPhone and you badly want the action button from the 15 Pro Max on your older iPhone, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I will be showing you not just one option, but two alternate options to enable the action button functionality on your older iPhones. The good news is that even if you have an iPhone 8 or later, this options will work. In fact, I believe these alternate options are even better than the action button in my personal opinion. Why you ask? Let's find out. So the first option is to enable back tap from accessibility settings on your iPhone. Wait, if you've already tried this option and you found it to be unreliable, I might have some solutions for you. So do watch this video till the end. For the purpose of this demo, I'm using an iPhone 12 Pro Max. To enable back tap, go to settings, then accessibility, then touch. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see the back tap option. So select the back tap option. So under double tap, I've already set it up to run a shortcut called toggle living room backlight. It just toggles my living room backlight on and off. But you also have other options like, you know, setting it to open camera, control center, go to home screen or mute, volume up, volume down, torch, and you have a lot more options over here. Then for triple tap, again, I have set up a shortcut called movie time. So what this uh, particular shortcut does is it turns off all the lights in my house and it turns on the couch light. It closes the blinds and the curtains in the living room. It also turns on the TV, switches the input to Netflix on my Apple TV and it also opens the Apple TV remote on my phone. How cool is that? There you go. This has been set up. So let me show you how this works. As you can see, it works perfectly on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me do it a couple more times. Here you can see it is working quite reliably. Okay, let's do a quick test between action button and back tap function. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the action button is definitely faster, but not by a big margin. Now let's do a quick test on the triple tap action. So the lightings have changed and curtains are closing. And Apple TV remote has opened on my phone and Netflix has opened on TV. Pretty cool, right? So is this option perfect? Of course not. It does occasionally fail to register back taps, but it could happen with the iPhone 15 Pro Max as well. For example, if you don't press the action button long enough, it may not register your action. Honestly, for single-handed operation, I find the back tap option to be more convenient compared to the action button on the 15 Pro Max, mainly because of its horrible placement in my personal opinion. If the action button was somewhere on the lower side, it would have helped a lot more with the ergonomics and also for the reachability, but I think Apple really messed up with the placement in my opinion. If the back tap option on your iPhone is not working reliably, I would suggest the following options. So the first option is to try and force restart your iPhone. To do that, quickly press the volume up button, down button, and then the power button. Keep holding the power button until the iPhone restarts and you see the Apple logo. And now release the button. Now the iPhone is force restarted. Once it restarts, just try the same option again. It should work for most users. If the force restart didn't help, go to settings and accessibility and do the same setup one more time. Now, what you have to do is just change the double tap or triple tap to something else and then switch it back to your desired action. This might also solve your issue. The third option is to remove the case and try to do the back tap without the case. Sometimes if you're using a super thick case like a leather case or something, it might hamper the back tap detection. So try to use a standard case or thinner case in case you are using a super thick case. All right, moving on to the second alternate option to enable action button like functionality on your older iPhone is to enable assistive touch on the iPhone. To do this, go to settings and then again, accessibility, touch, and then turn on assistive touch. Once you turn this on, you will see a gray or white 
circle icon hovering around you could just move it around anywhere on the screen whichever is convenient for you so I usually place it over here and in this menu you will also see options to set up actions for single tap double tap and long press so for single tap I'm using the same shortcut to turn on to toggle the living room backlight and for double tap I have set it to open the assistive touch menu which we will see in a minute and then long press to open the camera app let's quickly test it out so single tap it runs the shortcut to turn on my living room backlight double tap opens the assistive touch menu so this has far more flexibility and far more options compared to the action button in my view and long press there you go it opens the camera app okay let's now do a quick speed test between the assistive touch and the action button on the 15 pro max and let's see who wins as you can see the action button is only slightly faster and it doesn't make much of a difference well if you like me think this white hovering icon is kind of ugly and intrusive there are also options for that so you just go back to settings and within the assistive touch menu you will see an option called idle opacity so just reduce that opacity to I think the default is 40% you can reduce it to 20 or 25% I've reduced it to 25% so now you will hardly notice it there you go I know it's here but it's not that noticeable so there you go I hope you found these options useful there is also another option to reprogram volume control like an action button but I found this option to be finicky and kind of intruding with the main function of this button which is volume control. So in my view I think these are the next possible options to simulate action button on your older iPhone or even in the iPhone 15 base models. If you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more such technology tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.